Good night, fellow punters. Mickey D back with you here at a later time than I had planned or was thinking of. It's 10 o'clock on Sunday night. Um, as Elvis Presley sang years ago, what a night. Great night in Galway last night. Uh, visited many establishments and they were all packed. Town was buzzing. I was in great company. Uh, I won't name names, but uh, they know who they are. Um, great time. Finished up at the casino for a couple hours. I think four or half four hitting the hay. Uh, but in good, good, good form today. But I was umpired in at the Intermediate County Final today. Uh, good win for Dominic's. Um, congratulations to them. They're from the Crockery. Good follower of the channel, Jimmy Nocton is from there. He lives in New York, so uh, Jimmy probably having a few scoops tonight. Probably met his brother, Donny, after the match. He was in great shape. And uh, best wishes as well and congratulations to my Cullen, that won the Galway title this year. A very good friend of mine is manager of that, Don Cannell, and former Scammon player. Don is living in my Cullen, married to Linda. Actually, Don rang me after the game. Uh, to thank me for something I had done in the last or on a Saturday for him and was bring him a bit of luck. Um, I won't say what it was, but uh, it brought him the luck. To go. I didn't. I just. I know the one by a point. I'll try and get some more about it later. But when I came home, I was just absolutely wrecked. Uh, it was a hectic, tense affair today, and we had uh, our work cut out uh, to be on top of things as umpire. But I, uh, I was getting wired up. Uh, new modern technology, and I was listening to. The match that I have too was getting wired up about 10 to 2. So I had to put on uh, Flash to, to, to Zane on the phone. So as I was getting hooked up, um, he I didn't see it properly. I was listening to it and whatever. But uh, I knew the ground and suit today. And what a brilliant winner um, at uh, 12 to 1. I think he was returned at um, 11th. And then we had Affordable Fury, another winner today as well. Um, King Ferdinand let us down. The ground must have been against him because uh, I'll have to have a look at that. I didn't, I'd only seen the result. But um, another uh, two out of three ain't bad as uh, Meatloaf sang Once Upon a Time, one of my favourite albums. Um, and a great weekend. That's two winners today, three yesterday. And all nice prices like nines yesterday, twelves today, nine to two, four to one, fifty to one during the week. So we're hitting the ball uh, fairly well this weather. We're seeing it well, you know, like when you be playing pool or snooker, you know, but we're having a good run. So I hope everyone made a few pounds. I didn't get a chance to answer back in the comments today uh, or yesterday, and I always like to answer. So I'll try it if I can later, but I think I'll be hitting the cot uh, very early tonight. But uh, three for tomorrow. Now, these are all each way shots. There's a there's a loyalty bet tomorrow in the four twenty, uh, nearly five furlong race or nine furlong race. Kitog, and for people that don't know the Irish language, that's the Irish for left hand or kitog, left footed. Um, it won for us um, in late September. Picked it out at twenty to one that day and it won at five to one. It's a big, big gamble on it. Um, that was over that over the course and distance and it. It was came from last to first, showed a, a, a great turn of speed in the stretch. Uh, it's only a four year old. Um, but the change, the race wasn't so, ran to suit the last time in Chelmsford, I thought. But back to this, uh, and to the change of jockey as well. But back to uh, Thor Hansen on it and uh, the same track. It's an eight to one shot for paying four places. We can go a pint each way on that. Uh, then at the six o'clock as well at Wolverhampton. Normally, I just it's a mile six race, and I was looking at it, and I was saying, yeah, there's a horse there. I thought was overpriced, Arabian Warrior for uh, uh, Saeed uh, bin Sarur. It's his only runner at the track tomorrow. Um, the five year old gelding out of uh, Dubawi is two for thirteen lifetime. It broke his maiden actually in at the track in uh, July two thousand and twenty. Um, it had a good stretch duel with a horse, and it was beaten by a nose, but it got it in the stewards room. And it won off 74 in Newcastle this year. It had only one run last year. Um, so something must have happened to it. So the fact that they're, per, you know, um, persistent with running him as, as a five-year-old and back to the surface that he seemed to relish best when he ran on it. And uh, the trainer in the last 21 days out of 17 runners has had five winners in three places. So that's 
very close to 30% strike rate. It's 9-1. to one With 365, it's only 4 with the 5 with the green bucket. But I thought at 9-1, to one, it'd be worth a pint each way as well. And then Galway's on tomorrow. I may go, but I, 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 may, I don't think I will. I would have went, but I was a bit disappointed with him the other day when uh, they came back with a very lame, soft excuse. When I asked for, I was looking for tickets for, I actually asked for two tickets for three days for uh, the bus passengers that I would give out. And I was thinking of David Keneen that got married lately, that he might, I was going to give two to him and I was going to give two uh, each, to, you know, the, on the Saturday and the Monday, or the three days. And the first woman I thought, talked to, she thought it was a very good idea. But whoever she talked to after, I uh, used a very lame excuse when they came back. Um, I won't say what it was, but I wasn't happy with it now, to be honest. Um, they changed, the they came back with an excuse that I didn't ask for. They said uh, they thought I was looking for, well, I'll say it, media accredi accreditation, and I wasn't. So uh, someone got their wires crossed there. So I, I mightn't bother my arse going tomorrow because uh, I might watch it. But I, I might go to Galway anyway. But at the one ten, the top weight is excuse your Joe. He won for us in, in uh, Galway in July of 74. He's now 80. And Jake Cohen has taken four, five off him. But uh, I'm passing him over in favour of Turbulence, the five-year-old out of Night of Thunder. It's the third run now for Ross O'Sullivan, who's having a good enough season. And he's good. he had a few, good few winners for us uh, on the bus this year. He won a maiden in Killarney last year, uh, win with John Joe Murphy. And they didn't run for nearly 12 months. And this is his third run in October. It was 5th of 11. Um, there were two runs back. But uh, last time then, I thought, it was in the race that uh, King Arthur Soar run, uh, the Mile 2 race in Leperstown. And uh, I didn't think it, they weren't too busy on it. I think there could be a race in it. It's back in trip, so it'll stay in the distance. And Shane Foley has taken over. It's 12 to 1. I thought we'd go uh, five, you know, pint each way on that with five places, 12 to 1. And that we could do a small each way treble with them as well. I'll wrap on and try and get this up anyway. And uh, best of luck to everyone tomorrow. Uh, bash the bookies over and out.